hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to build a fun application called know what you will eat today so for starting i have created a home page uh, this home page is basically a center card uh, this card is clickable so i have wrapped it inside a inkwell and a center text called know what you will eat today and our main page is called a food page which will display our different types of food images that you will going to eat so for that we are going to fetch this url uh, this api which gives us a random food images so for that we'll create a string url okay so now for fetching our images we are going to install a package called http so copy the dependencies and you need to head to the pubspec.yml and paste it and get the dependencies into your system so now you are ready for fetching the data okay so let's uh, edit our foot page by giving a scaffold okay so follow me I'll just edit our app bar to something crazy like the text what you have seen at the early demo okay so now you can set your app bar transparent uh, by giving its background color property to colors dot transparent and giving its elevation zero uh, and if you want to show the background images behind your app bar you have to set the extend body behind app bar property to true uh, so now let's uh, give it our center title equal to true and now we would map our data inside a map that is the image we are getting so we are going to use fetch data and we'll use our HTTP package so let me just write it okay so now we will fetch our data using the init state we'll overwrite it and we'll give our method fetch data inside it okay so now what we will do we will complete our body function uh, inside our scaffold okay so uh, we'll write body and we'll take it a container as our main widget and inside the container uh, we'll take its child as a center okay so before center we can just if check if the like the data inside the map is null okay that is we don't have our image we can just show let's say a circular progress indicator inside our center right 
so like this we'll create a child as a center circular progress indicator okay so giving it a value of background color of a color zone amber and in, inside our main center we will use a child container and inside a container we'll set its height and width equal to media query dot of our devices height and width so that it displays the image according to your device display okay so now what we are going to do is uh, inside the container um, we'll use a widget called fade in image so what this basically is use uh, is we can use a property called placeholder using this fade in image so placeholder is just an image it could be any image that you want uh, it will display until your image loads into your container okay so we'll give it a height of 500 width of your display using media query dot of context and we'll map our image inside the image okay so now uh, it has also a property called yeah fade in curve we'll fit our image to box fit dot cover and here's how you can map your image map image uh, so let's uh, rerun our app it's still loading our image let's restart our app okay so now you can see is our home page what you will eat so when you click it you will see yeah wait for it is our place folder and now you can see the random images of food images that you are going to it so yeah this is how uh, you can create this a uh, fun application you can show it to your friends family and or as a project in your college i hope you like this video uh, do subscribe to my channel see you in the next video